Hello and welcome back to Winter 89 Colors. I am Winter, or Melissa if you want, and um, I am here to ask for your help. This is a cry for help. I'm going to be honest. I really need some assistance in working on my untouched coloring books. That's a big goal of mine for the next two months, and I really need some help digging in. I've already completed, and you won't even believe this, but hold on. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven pages this month in April. It is now April 5th, and I've finished eleven pages. Some of them were whips from last month, which is good, but like eleven pages. And let me tell you that only one of them, one, was untouched. Okay, that's not a great, you know, that's not great odds. Okay, so. I'm here to ask for your help. I'm here to ask for buddy colors, group colors, simply, you know, oh, requests for color alongs, anything that's gonna get me motivated to work in these books. So I am gonna show you all of the books that I have right now that are sitting qualified as untouched. To be fair, some of them have whips in them. Um, and I still qualify them as untouched if there is not a single completed page in them. So if there's a whip, I'll show you. If not, I'll just flip, like I'll literally just do a quick flip through the through the book just so you can see in case you are not familiar with it or in case you wanna buy it or in case you have it but forgot about it, whatever. Um, so yes, please help me. This is a cry for help. Um, I only just put this swatch page up just for something interesting to look at while I rambled on to you. The one thing I have to give a shout out to is that the one page that I did three pages that I did in the untouched book this month so far is Alien Worlds and that is due to Happy Catastrophe Colors and her new Alien Worlds coloring group that she has created that I am so proudly a part of on Instagram. I have created, th I have finished three pages so far due to the motivation that this group has helped me with and we're going to continue on with that so I will mention that lovely person in the description below. However, um, other than that, I need help getting started. Again, without their help, I never would have got started. So let's move on. Remember, if there's any buddy colors you wanna do, any group colors you think I should join, or any color alongs you'd like to see, uh, color in chats you'd like to see, anything like that, let me know. On to the books. All right, so again, the order is nothing other than making sure my pile doesn't fall over. So don't take too much stock in that. So the first one is Dimensions by Francois Gauthier. And unfortunately, as we discovered with the help of um, My Colorful Country Life, Karen at My Colorful Country Life, who will also be in the description. Hold on, I gotta write these down. I keep mentioning people and then not putting them in the description. Give me a second. My head's probably in this, isn't it? Eh, who cares? So now I'm writing down the people that I need to mention. All right. So anyways, as I was saying, so as I found out from the help of Karen at My Colorful Country Life, my book is misprinted. As you can see, there's a gap here and here. This is supposed to be black all the way around. It is not. Some of the pages are worse than others. Some of them are even cut off a little bit. So my, my book is, a, like, look at this. That's not centered. And nor is it even uncentered in the way that other page was. There's another one in here. Yeah, look at that. That's not centered. Not centered. These ones barely fit on the page. And look, at it, it's not even straight. Anyway, so the point is, oh yeah, these ones are way cut off. Look at that. way cut off. Anyways, the point is, is that I got a misprint. However, I'm not going to waste the paper. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to try to work in it. I don't know if the printing is the same quality or worse because the printing doesn't look like great quality, but whatever. We'll make it what it, it is, what it is. So dimensions. I've picked out a couple in here that I had planned to work in, which is this bird page, 
with all the art supplies. I thought that one would be really fun. It doesn't have too much horrendous like pixelated shading in it like some of the other pictures do. And of course, this dragon page was Karen did. Um, I'd like to try it on my own, doing different colors, whatever. Um, I, you know, I watched her color along, but um, I want to do it my own way. So again, it's kind of grainy and pixelated, but I hope that's the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, I got a really messed up copy, but again, not centered, but that's okay. So if there's anything in here that you want to color with me, particularly those two pages, let me know. And that is Dimensions by Francois Gauthier. Next, I have two Rita Berman books. Shame, I know. But also, like, I revere them so much that I don't... I don't want to ruin them. You know, it's that whole brand new car syndrome where you get a new car and you you really, you know, you're so scared to drive it for the first little while until it gets that first little scratch, you know? It doesn't matter if it's a huge dent or a teeny tiny little scratch. Suddenly there's a huge weight lifted off you. So I feel like that's what I need. I need somebody to help lift that weight and help me dive into these books. I've been staring at them for months. This one I've had for quite a while. This one's a little bit newer. Um, you know, it only recently came to Canada as an option. So it's a little newer, but nonetheless. So I picked out a couple of pages in these in Africa. I mean, this is my favorite page in the entire book. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. It's so springy and so beautiful, but hippos are my favorite animal. So I don't know if I can bring myself to, to work on this one right now but I'm open to working on whatever else in the book as well. It's just, I've tagged that one as springy and whatever. It, anyways, Rita Berman's Africa book, I praise it as being incredible. And then we have her Asian book, which is also beautiful. I picked out this deer page, which I know a lot of people have done. Tons of people have done it. It's but it's still beautiful nonetheless, and I'd be happy to try. Again, a lot of the time, I'm the opposite of some people. Some people say that when they see other people do a picture, they can't get that out of their head, and it makes it hard for them to come up with their own colors. Me, it's the opposite. I find that when I see somebody else do it, I can think of how I could do it differently, and that's inspired me a lot. In fact, especially Karen from My Colorful Country Life has inspired me to do a lot of pages differently because I saw what she did and I thought, oh, I could do the opposite of that or, oh, I could do something different than that. So anyways, this page is one that I'd be willing to, like one that I'm kind of semi-eager to do eventually. And then I also picked out this bird page because it's got the flowers and everything. It's just beautiful. But realistically, again, anything in this book, I'm up to try. I should say that for all the books I'm going to show you, I'm up for anything in these books. It's just these are the ones that caught my eye and, you know, I might be able to try and push myself to do on my own, but, you know, unlikely. Anyway, sorry if they're shaking. I've got you attached to a table that I've got a pile of books on. All right, so I'm going to pull these two books. So I'm going to start with this one. I might destash this one. Uh, you Matter Coloring Book it is a charity project book uh, by Ned Burwell, who is a person just a couple towns over from me. He's trying to help with mental health and things like that. I think I've shown this one before. Um, I haven't been able to bring myself to color it. It is very spiritual in nature, and my dad spilled juice on it when he was giving it to me. But anyway, it's very spiritual in nature, which is fine. That one's not so much, but like a lot of them are very ethnic or spiritual in nature and I like I feel like I can't do them justice so he's a tattoo artist by the way so like he's got some really neat ideas but I don't know I don't know if there's anything I might oh yeah I use this one as a test page for um, my first distressed oxide <laughs> to see how it would go um but yeah I haven't actually worked on anything or completed anything in here so there's a few pages. You know what? I'll keep it for a little bit. But yeah, I doubt anyone has this one. But if they do, you know, just let me know and we'll see what we can do for it. Okay. So the next one is Magic Jars. Now, to be fair, I just got this one. This one's pretty new. So I haven't had a chance to work in it. But also, I want to make sure I do work in it. Um, I was inspired by a lot of you YouTubers out there that are, you know... Um, working in this book or in the um, Coloring Heaven version of this book. So 
I picked out this one again, very springy, the cute little elephant with his rain boots. I just think that's adorable. I also picked out this one with the bunny and the butterfly. Just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. This is a really cute book and I'm glad I grabbed it, but again, haven't had a chance to start in it. So it goes back in the pile of untouched. Next, we have a whole pile of uh, one of our favorites, Camellia. So Camellia Angel Kova has, I have so many of her books because I love her work. I really do. But unfortunately, I have so many that I keep putting off because I love them so much. You know, I keep picking out my least favorites of the ones I've ordered from her and working in those. But I need to work in the ones that I really love. So these ones I think are all very, very cute. Um, we've got 50 Saparfari miniatures. 50 autumn miniatures. Obviously, that one can probably wait till the fall, but it's there if you really want to. 50 mythical miniatures. Oh, I love this one. Absolutely gorgeous. The amount of animals she came up with, just great. 50 farmers miniatures. This one, oh my god, I'm in love with. I think it's the greatest. 50 vacation miniatures. Again, this is one of her newer ones. Absolutely stunning. And then 50 winter miniatures. Again, that one can wait till winter. It doesn't have to be now, but beautiful. So that's all the Camellia Angel Kova ones. Next up, oh, we've got a pile of another of our favorite, Teresa Goodridge and her Creative Haven series. Again, fell in love with Teresa and went on a buying spree and bought a whole bunch of her books, but haven't been able to bring myself to work in them. So let's start with the ones we're probably not going to work on now, but they do exist. Her Christmas ones. I've got Enchanted Christmas. It was on sale this year, so I bought it. Beautiful work. Christmas gnomes, obviously, because her gnomes are incredible. Just absolutely beautiful. Home for the holidays. Again, there have been times I've picked out pictures in this and then just pulled the tags right off them because I can't bring myself to do it. And Country Christmas. Again, beautiful, detailed, a lot of work. Keep those in mind for the holidays, guys. But then we have two that are not holiday themed and that's Country Charm and Country Farm Scenes. Again, only not getting to them because I love them so much. Just... Anything in here is just beautiful. I love the way that she illustrates. It leaves a lot open to interpretation. Like it seems really detailed, but honestly, it's not as bad as it seems. Same with Country. This is one of her older books and like the paper is so different. It's so thick. But again, there's a lot of different seasons in this one. So, so yeah, hit me up if you want to do any of those. Teresa Goodrich. All right, next up, I'm going to move into these two. So we've got Stratton Peterson, who is very popular right now because they've got a new book coming out. Um, this is one of their oldest. And I got it on sale, as you can see, by accident um, at my local bookstore. I didn't know who Stratton Peterson was at the time, and this was a while back. Um, but I got it on sale, so I picked it up. And it's a beautiful book. All these animals with, of course, little description as they do with all their all their other, you know, illustrations. And again, touched nothing in here, but worth it. The paper is really lovely. And then Gabby Wolf's Mini Mania. I just have the first one, but again, nothing touched in either side. It's got the two different options. It's got the line work and then it's got the, the soft gray work. So many pictures in here I would love to color, but again, too many to choose from, so help me out with that. Trying not to make this too long, guys. Trying to like fly through this as much as I can. Next, we've got Morgan O'Brien. We've got three Matchstick Mouse books that I have yet to touch. So I've got Matchstick Mouse Christmas. Again, this can wait until the season, unless you're really feeling it. Beautiful, of course. 
And then we've got autumn. Again, it can wait. Still beautiful though, just gorgeous. Floral is one that's really in right now and people are really picking up and working on it. And unfortunately, I am still struggling to do so. I've got so many marked in here. I've got this beautiful spring cleaning looking one. You know, she looks like she's really getting ready for spring. I've got this bunch of flowers. I mean, some of them are obvious, some of them are not. We can kind of work through that. It doesn't matter. And this tulip page. I almost did this one the other day, but then I chickened out. So you guys got to help me out with this. Let me know what you want to see in that one. Next, I have the Joanna Basford coloring planner uh, from last year. Again, haven't done much in this one. I touched this page but haven't done any more with it. I did it as a test page for a set of pencils, but otherwise nothing else in here has been touched. So many of her good illustrations are in here and I don't know what to do with it. I really don't. So again, if you have this or any of these pictures that are in here in her other books, let me know. Like, if you wanna know more about what's in this book, I can show you. Yeah, so that's Joanna's coloring planner. Next, we have Lulu Mayo. These two are untouched. This one, obviously, I just got, so giving myself some grace on this one, but the Million Little Monsters, oh, I love it. Like, and I feel it's really Halloween-y, but at the same time, also any time for a weirdo as me. Just love all these pages. I can't even pick one. I tried to pick one out as like a... Maybe, but I, I can't. I love them all equally, so. That one's an option. And also, of course, A Million Baby Animals. I picked out this little fox, lamb, and chick page. I think that's just absolutely gorgeous. And then also we've got this egg page. I love how the turtles are sneaking in there. And then we've got this deer page. So lots of options in A Million Baby Animals and A Million Little Monsters by Lulu Mayo. Next is another travesty. These are Marie et Troy. And um, this one's a bit newer for me, just picked it up recently, but this one I've had for a long time and I just haven't been able to bring myself to touch it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Nightfall I feel is so similar to it that I just, I wanna, work more in nightfall first because I've got quite a bit done in nightfall but I feel like this is not the same it's not that similar there's some there's differences so that one I'd be willing to work in and then Botanicum again a new one for me you can even tell the difference in the spine they're a different color um this one is beautiful I resisted even looking at this one for so long because of the name I thought it was gonna be all flowers, but it's not. It's such a great variety of things. And so I'm open to a lot of what's going on there. So that's Marie Troy. Next I have Coloring Heaven. This is the only Coloring Heaven that I own and it's the Mysterious Women special. And I don't know why I picked this up, but something about it called to me. And I actually ended up marking a ton of things in here. I wanna try this one, the Crescent Moon. I think that would be really nice. There's lots of space for air. It's pretty simple, but you could make it complex. The Romantica. Beautiful. Again, same same thing. Call of the Ocean. Love it. I think that's beautiful. You could do so many different things with her skin tone. And then the Wanted. No, not Wanted. I mean, yes, I love that one too. That's also an option, but I didn't mark it. But what I marked was this one, which is weird for me because... The childlike thing scares me. Like I'm not, I'm terrified of children, right? Like that's a whole thing for me. But for some reason, this one, I can picture her as just being a childlike elf and with her animal friends that helps. So I'd love to give that a go. So if you have this or any of, um, what's her name again? Maud Le Moines books that have these in them, let me know and maybe we can do that. All right, guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We've got two, four, six, eight left. All right. So we've got Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. I know, I know it's crazy that I haven't touched this at all, but with all the other Joanna Basford books that I have going on, it's crazy. Like, 
this one I know is one of her most popular ones and I love the illustrations in it but I just I've been like you know what I need to do more work in my other Joanna books which is not how life works right so world of flowers I haven't picked any specific out in here but that's because I just love Joanna and it doesn't matter what she makes I'll color it next I have three mythographic books I have Menagerie, Dreamweaver, and Deep Blue. So the one that sets stands apart here is Menagerie, or Deep Dreamweaver, sorry, because I've actually started one in here. I do have a whip. I'll zoom in for this. And it's looking really good. Like I've actually kind of like the way the background is doing. It's uh, Albert Dewar's and soft pastel for the um, clouds. But for some reason, I'm really stuck. I'm having a hard time moving forward with this picture, and I'm having a hard time moving forward with any of the other pictures. So that's Dreamweaver. Deep Blue, I just got this one recently, so some grace here, but I love the images, and I love that there's no hidden objects, so that's very exciting. So let me know on that one. And then I have Menagerie, which I've picked out one. I love, I keep coming back to this image. I keep coming back to it because I do have some visions for it, but I, I never start it. I never, it's been months and I haven't started it. But of course, any of the images in here are just beautiful. So yeah, that's my mythographic. Let me know what you think. Okay, I have these two Kirby books. Mythomorphia, okay, this one, this one I'm giving myself some grace on because yes, it's slightly newer, but also I'm thinking I might do it as a color along front to back. I absolutely love all the images in here and I'm considering starting from the front and no matter how badly it goes, just videotaping it and seeing what happens. That So I'm gonna let that one to the side. I'll allow that one to pass, but everything else, no. And this is World of Color. Again, nothing in here except one whip. I This has been sitting here for months, like almost a year. I did such a great job getting it started, and then I, don't know, I even wrote everything down. Like, it's not like I have any excuse, like, oh, I don't know what I used. No, it's just like, I don't know why I can't come back to this one. I don't know. But everything else in here, same thing. I love all the images. Even if I've done them before, I still want to do them again, so... Those are my Kirby books. And then finally, these are the last two. The Eerie books. The Romantic... The Romantic Country books. I've had these for a while, and I keep seeing so much incredible, fabulous, beautiful work done in them. And I just... I just can't bring myself to it, especially because they're so hand-painted, and they're so beautiful. I'm so... This is probably the biggest example of I'm afraid to ruin it, of everything. I keep seeing a lot of color alongs, group colors, etc. with both of these books. And I, I haven't been able to bring myself to do it. So if somebody wants to push me into it, I might be willing to give it a go. I don't even know where to start with materials for these, but you know what? Sometimes you got to just jump in both feet, right? So everybody, that is all of my untouched books so if again group colors buddy colors um color alongs color and chats etc you let me know what you want to see let me know how i can help myself get through these books okay well thanks for watching thanks for being here and enjoy the rest of your day Bye bye